Hi, so here we have one more proof to Pythagoras theorem. And what is Pythagoras theorem? Yes, it is a square plus b square is equal to c square, where a and b are the sides adjacent to right angle in a right angle triangle and c is the hypotenuse. So what is a square? a square is actually the area of a square whose one side is a. So if I make one more square with one side is equal to b, area of the smaller square will be b square. So this is a square and this is b square. Now I'm going to do some construction. I'm going to take this length which is equal to a and mark it over here in such a way that the length from this point to this point is a and we already know this is b. Then if I draw this line, this is actually a right angle triangle, right? Similarly, if I draw a line from this point to this point, this is also a right angle triangle and both these triangles are congruent because the total length from this point to this point was a plus b and this much is a that means this remaining length is actually equal to b and this is a it is actually the part of the original square that means this is also a right angle triangle with sides equal to a and b which are adjacent to right angle and now I am going to do some more construction now I am going to take this side which is equal to b and I am going to paste it over here Next, I'm going to draw a line from this point till this point. So what is this? This is also a triangle which is a right angle triangle with sides equal to A and B adjacent to the right angle. And that will also be congruent to this red triangle. And now if I do this construction, again we will get a triangle which is congruent to all the other red triangles. And while doing so, we have also got a square, this square A b c and d and what is special about this square this is actually a square with one side is equal to c which is the hypotenuse of our original triangle and the area of this square which is equal to c square is actually equal to a square plus b square c the c square has these parts from a square and b square and the remaining part of a square and b square which are in the form of these triangles are incorporated over here. This is incorporated over here and this portion is actually incorporated over here. So from here a square plus b square is actually equal to c square and this is also one way of proving the Pythagoras theorem.